Topics and Tea with Candace P in three, two, one. All right. Now listen, y'all, I want to say happy Black History Month, and we finna start this thing off right. Shining a light about what's been in plain sight, which is the music industry and their disgusting, corrupt business practices against all artists, but this month, we talking about Black artists. Specifically, we're talking about Spotify. The backbone of Spotify is the music. Most of the streams on Spotify are Black music. Our beloved India Ari, the beautifully talented, multi-Grammy award-winning singer and songwriter, she has spoken up and spoken out against Spotify for paying 0.003% of one penny. In so many words, India Ari said, get my music and my podcast off of there, Spotify. If you ain't gonna pay me right, get my music off. Spotify is built on the back of the music streaming. So they take this money that's built from streaming and they pay this guy $100 million, but they pay us 0.003% of a penny. Just take me off. I don't want to generate money that pays this. Just take me off. That's where I'm at. The reason that India Ari wants all of her music and her podcast removed from Spotify is not just because of the low pay, 0.003% of a penny, not just that, it's because they're choosing to pay somebody like Joe Rogan $100 million for his podcast, Sounds About White. Despite all of his problematic podcast episodes, specifically the fact that he uses the word nigger, actually nigger, with a lot of R's, baby. Like, you know the nigger thing yeah. saying the word nigger oh, you've already said nigger D is just like nigger Ooh. saying nigger she's calling you a nigger it's like this boy that he's a nigger and starts calling them niggers or nigger there should be a word like nigger especially like the word nigger that's our nigger about niggers he says nigger guy a nigger and then our nigger starts saying nigger allowed to use the word nigger out the word nigger see nigger or nigger say nigger and he couldn't say nigger and most nigger joe rogan has used the n-word on his podcast on many occasions yet spotify has enough money to pay him a hundred million dollars and it's not in the news and it's not a problem but what was a problem was joe rogan spreading misinformation about the covid 19 vaccine oh joe put out apologies for that but not for saying the n-word one of the things that Spotify wants to do that I agree with is that at the beginning of these controversial podcasts, like specifically ones about COVID, is to put a disclaimer and say that you should speak with your physician and that these people and the opinions that they express are contrary to the opinions of uh, the consensus of experts, which I think is very important. Sure, have that on there. I'm very happy with that. Now, because of this controversy, and I'm sure there's a lot of other things going on behind the scenes with these controversies, but uh, Neil Young has removed his music from the, the platform of Spotify and uh, Joni Mitchell and uh, apparently some other people want to as well. Um, I'm very sorry that they feel that way. I, 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 I most certainly don't want that. Uh, I'm a Neil Young fan. I've always been a Neil Young fan. I'll tell you a story at the end of this about that. Um, you know, I do all the scheduling myself and uh, I don't always get it right. This, these podcasts are very strange because they're just conversations. And oftentimes I have no idea what I'm gonna talk about until I sit down and talk to people. And that's why some of my ideas are not that prepared or fleshed out because I'm literally having them in real time. Um, but I do my best and they're just conversations. And I think that's also the appeal of the show. It's one of the things that makes it interesting. Um, so uh, I want to thank Spotify for being so supportive during this time. Uh, and I'm very sorry that this is happening to them and that they're taking so much heat from it. It's a strange responsibility to have this many viewers and listeners. It's very strange and it's nothing that I prepare for and it's nothing that I ever anticipated. I am going to do my best in the future to uh, balance things out. I'm going to do my best, but my point of doing this is always just to create interesting conversations and ones that I hope people enjoy. So if I pissed you off, I'm sorry. And uh, if you enjoy the podcast, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you to Spotify. Thank you all the supporters and, and even thank you to the haters because it's good to have some haters. It makes you reassess what you're doing and put things into perspective. And, and uh, I think, I think that's good too. All right. 
Uh, much love to you all. Thank you to everyone. Um, and uh, I'm going to do my best. Can somebody please let Joe Rogan know that nobody is hating on you. You don't have haters. You have people holding you accountable. Joe Rogan does not even seem like he's sorry for spreading misinformation. And he for damn sure ain't sorry for using the N-word because why? He hasn't even mentioned it at all whatsoever. And neither has Spotify. Today, February 3rd, the Spotify CEO is actually defending Joe Rogan. That's all in the headlines that he's being defended. And the media is intentionally putting out positive narratives about Joe Rogan, such as Dwayne The Rock Johnson calls Joe Rogan's apology great stuff. And I look forward to being on the podcast. Listen, I'm sure Dwayne The Rock Johnson isn't aware of his use of the N-word over and over. And the reason is because the media is not pushing that story. They're only pushing the story about the controversy around COVID-19, but they are completely ignoring what India Ari said about how she was hurt and offended by Joe Rogan's use of the N-word, as all of us black people are. But y'all know how this media game goes. White people protect white people, Jewish people protect Jewish people, and black people we just left by the wayside. Side. And black people, they just do not care. That's why we have to push this story. We have to be on social media making things happen. And I hope all of you watching absolutely hit up all the social medias and do the work. Because y'all saw how quickly the Jews got Whoopi Goldberg off the view. But white people, they don't get any type of punishment when they disrespect black people. India Ari is holding it down all by herself for now because I got her back and I'm sure y'all have her back so make sure y'all show support on social media ASAP. Here's a list of all of the artists who have boycotted Spotify so far and if you look on the list only one of them is boycotting specifically mentioning Joe Rogan's problematic statements about race. Black people. And the person who spoke up is India Ari. I want y'all to hear exactly what she had to say. Please listen to the whole thing and then I want y'all to head on over to Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, wherever, and hashtag India RE, hashtag Spotify, hashtag pay artists what they deserve, and hold Joe Rogan accountable for all of his problematic statements, specifically his comments about black people and his use of the N-word. Check this out, and then I'm coming back with some more. I want to leave a short message here about why I decided to, why I decided to ask my music be pulled off of Spotify. So check this out. No white people. Says, okay, take me to this one. And the guy goes, okay, I goes, is that in a good neighborhood? He's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Guy barely speaks English. He takes us there. We get out and we're giggling. Oh, we're gonna see Planet of the Apes. We walk into Planet of the Apes. <laughs> we walked into Africa, dude. We, we, we walked in the door and there was no white people. Says, okay, take I empathize with the people who are leaving for the COVID disinformation reasons, and I think that they should. I also think that Joe Rogan has the right to say what he wants to say. I also think that I have the right to say what I want to say. So as an artist who builds, Spotify is built on the back of the music streaming. So they take this money that's built from streaming and they pay this guy $100 million, but they pay us 0.003% of a penny. Just take me off. I don't want to generate money that pays this. Just take me off. That's where I'm at. And I know that uh, I'm actually, to be honest with you, surprised that my statements were picked up because I thought people weren't really gonna listen to me because that's what I'm the kind of, that's what I'm used to from the industry. But I'm glad that I am being heard. And for that reason, I wanna clarify my statements. Again, this is why, watch this. Like, you know, the nigger thing. Yeah. Saying the word nigger. Oh, you've already said nigger. D is just like nigger. Ooh. Saying nigger. She's calling you a nigger. It's like this boy that he's a nigger and starts calling them niggers. Word nigger. There should be a word like nigger, especially like the word nigger. That's our nigger. About niggers. He says nigger. Guy a nigger. And then our niggers start saying nigger. I'll use the word nigger. Out the word nigger. See nigger. Word nigger. Say nigger and you couldn't say nigger. And most nigger. So we know how social media can be. Things can be doctored, people are taken out of context. It's happened to me many times. However, I wanna be clear, in no uncertain terms, where I stand on this is that he shouldn't even be uttering the word. Don't even say it under any context. Don't say it. That's where I stand. It's my right to stand there. I have always stood there. I have other feelings about it, but those are nuances that are not meant for this moment. He shouldn't even be saying it. And so the confluence of energies comes into play here. 
So now we have this person who is offensive to a lot of people who's paid a hundred million dollars. Spotify, the backbone of Spotify is the music. So you pay the musicians that are the backbone of your business. 0 0.003 to 0.005% of a penny. And you take this money that, and you take this money that you generate over here because all the rest of it goes somewhere. The subscription fees go somewhere. So you take this money that's generated over here and you use it to invest in this guy. Do what you want, but take me off. Or pay me too. And I don't just mean me, I mean us. Artists like me, pay us too. Pay podcasters of color too. So Artist Relations from Spotify called me yesterday and they asked me what I want and I've been thinking about this all night. I'm not gonna say it all here, but what I wanna say to you is something that I already knew, but I want you to know that they said it last night. Most of the streams on Spotify are black music, but we know that if, you, if you're paying attention at all, you understand the role of black music in this world. So that's a deeper nuance. There's the musicians, there's the black music that is the backbone of the whole music industry, that's the backbone of Spotify too, who are historically underpaid and mistreated and all this stuff. Just there's a his historical context here that makes all this matter. And then there's this guy and you take this money and you pay this guy who says this stuff? No. And so it took Anil Young to open the door for someone like me, but I walked through it because I've been standing at this door for a long time. One of the hashtags I put on my post, the written one was, what if we all leave? And that's what I'm trying to see if we could get to happen. What if we all leave? Then we can start having a conversation. It can go from a conversation to a negotiation. So, that's where I'm at y'all. And I'm gonna get into my day. Shout out to India Ari, I'm so proud of her. And I agree, what if they all leave? What if we all leave? major black artists. And honestly, in my opinion, I feel like Spotify is not taking it as seriously because it is India Ari. If it had been a rapper, some hip hop artist, one of these new artists that's making them so much money, they would have moved with the quickness. If it was Cardi B, if it was Megan Thee Stallion, if it was any of them, more artists would have followed by now. So my question is really to all of the black artists, where are y'all? Why aren't y'all saying anything? Artists like India Ari being so positive, teaching self-love, celebrating black skin. These are the artists that we cry over when we lose them. But look now, when India needs our support, what are we doing? Looking at it on the shade room real quick, putting a like, putting a comment, and moving on with our lives. I'm just gonna say, white people don't do that, and Jewish people don't do that. It's Black History Month. Let's stand up for each other. I'm just saying. But I wanna know what y'all think. What do y'all think about this India RE versus Spotify mess? And what do you think about Spotify actually defending Joe Rogan, absolutely knowing about his use of the N-word? Let me know what you think. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'm gonna catch you in the next one, all right? Bye.